Greetings everyone, this is D22 with you today from the D22 main channel and today we're going to be doing a tutorial. Yes, that's right, I haven't done these in a while so please bear with me. This tutorial is going to be on Sony Vegas Pro 13. As you can see this wallpaper is a workout calendar. So we're going to open up Vegas Pro 13 right now. Yes, this is a cracked version. Thank you very much. I'm a pirate. Yar. So we're going to open up this program and we're going to just see some differences here. Now, we're going to go through the differences one by one. And I hope you can hear me. I'm using a snowball mic to capture all the audio. So we're going to get started. Now, the tabs are here. Project Media, Explorer, Transitions, Video Effects, and your Media Generators tab. Now, if you are an experienced user of Sony Vegas, this should be all familiar to you. Plus, you can also install third-party plugins that will also add to your video editing experience, like, for example, HitFilm Light Flares. If you have the HitFilm program installed, it usually will get defaults and presets on there, so we don't have to worry about that. Now, as a precaution, just to let you know, viewers, I will cough in some parts because I do have a bit of a cold, so I do apologize in advance. Okay. and. You can go through all your plugins as normal, and we're going to just go and do our first video as an example. So to import a video, you go to Import Media, and then you go to whichever videos you have there, and we're going to use this as an example. Now, this program can import and export different formats. So we're going to use what's called an MP4 format. We're going to click and hold and drag it into the timeline and this is what a video should generally look like and we're gonna just mute the sound and if you also do this if you click on these tabs it will lower the volume and the picture so you can set the fade however you want here okay so we're just gonna mute it for example and then if you play your video here it'll just play as normal what it can also do you probably have seen this already there's a record function there so if you have a microphone hooked up you can record your voice and save it in a WAV format so I'll show you an example so we're gonna do a recording and then it'll go into the recorded files folder and it'll save it in a folder so we're gonna go OK and then what it's gonna show it's gonna show a audio timeline here where you'll be talking in the microphone and it'll pick up your voice so after you do that you go to stop and then it'll save it as a WAV format and you can go done. And then it'll usually pick up what you recorded. Okay. And then what it's going to show. As you can see, you heard my voice there as it was recording from my secondary microphone. I'm recording this tutorial on a blue snowball. Hopefully it sounds good. And if it doesn't, then you can give me a written comment saying this microphone sucks. Go kill yourself. But we're not going to do that. So anyways, Vegas has changed a lot. There has been new updates in regards to the 4K resolution series now. And it allows you to export files from 4K. And you can also export files that are AVI, WMV, MP4, MPEG-1, MPEG-2, various file formats. Like if you go and import, it'll give you a list of all the formats. And you can look through all of these to see if your format matches with Sony Vegas and if you can edit it properly. So those are the listings there. And it also deals with Red Raw and it's the extension .r3d. Now that's a new format in the higher standard in the video files. So we're going to just close out of that. Now you can also green screen in this particular program as well. And I also have other videos that explain how to chroma key and I'll also explain that in a future video as well. But what we're doing is just a rundown of this program itself because this is Vegas Pro 13 and Vegas Pro 14 will be out soon and it'll give you updates and all that as well and I might do a tutorial on that as well. So that's basically it on how to import a video and mute sound and also record your own voice. I've shown you those things. So let's say that you've done all your editing and your video is done. So what you do, this is how I do it, but you don't have to. You click and hold until you see a blue line where your project is and drag it. You'll see these two yellow markers that go here. So from start to finish, it gives you a loop region from 0 to 37. And when you're done, you go to File, Render As, and then you choose your format. So we're, for the sake of it, we're just going to do 3MBPS. This is the smallest 
uh, format that you can use, which is WMV. We're just going to go test. And then what we'll do here is we'll choose this as an example. So it'll render your file out here. And then once it reaches 100%, then it's done. So the whole rendering process takes a little bit, depending on the length of your video. If your video is relatively short, the rendering times won't be so long. It just depends on your format that you render in. So we're going to discuss how to render things. Now, let's say you have a template saved here. Now, how do you do that? How do you save a project template? We're going to uncheck this for now, and then it'll give you an option of templates here. And you just pick one you want, press the star, and it'll show up in your favorites. Simple as that. And then you browse for the folder that you want to save in. There we go, videos, save. And then it automatically leaves that extension available for you there. And then that's how you do it. So this wasn't a complete tutorial, I know. But it's just a guideline on how to get started on your Sony Vegas project and also how to render a video. If you have any other questions or if you would like me to do a simple tutorial video on a simple function of Sony Vegas, please leave a comment below and I will be more than happy to get that video out for you. That's it for now. Thank you so much for watching this video. Get Field for Life and I'll respond to you another time. See you later.